Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It is featuring the new Kylie Peach Palette, or actually it's not new, they actually restocked it. Um, I can't even remember when they first um, launched it. But, I just dropped it like two inches. Like literally that was the, f that was not a big drop at all, right? And literally every eyeshadow except for that one fell out of the palette. I was really impressed by this palette until this moment. So they all fell out of the palette except for that one, but none of them broke. So I, I guess that's just a packaging flaw, not a product flaw. But yeah, I actually did mention when I first came on camera in the tutorial that the packaging was super cheap. So the palette didn't break. I just realized that the palette is magnetic. So they're supposed to come out if you do something like drop them or try to get them out. Okay, so it's a magnetic palette. Didn't know that. Okay, now that we discovered it's a magnetic palette, I'm gonna take back what I said about it being cheap. No, it's actually still pretty cheap packaging, but I will take back what I said about it falling apart because it didn't fall apart, it's just magnetic. Um, which I guess is kind of cool because if you don't want to carry this palette around, you can take some of the shadows out, put it in a Z palette like that. It also comes with this cool brush that I actually really like. I used in the makeup tutorial. But yeah, we're going to do this look. I decided to play with colors because the reason I bought the palette was definitely because of this blue shade here. It was the most interesting one. I haven't really seen a palette that like has this kind of mix of neutrals and bright colors in a long time. So I was excited for it. I was also very excited to try the Kylie eyeshadow formula because I feel like the whole world is very, very skeptical and um, scrutinizes her makeup line very harshly because of who she is. So I, I, I wanted to test it, see if the hype was real, see if it was all just hype from her fans. I don't know, but I have to say, I really like it. I like the way this look turned out. All the shadows worked perfectly um, and the brush worked perfectly as well. So I'm very impressed, um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and we are gonna jump right into the makeup look. Okay guys, I look a little bit crazy right now because I was just super excited to film. Like usually I get dressed and put, do my hair before I start filming, but sorry, I'm like shaking everything. Um, but I just like wanted to get on camera immediately. So I'll just do my hair and all that shit later. But we're gonna jump in to the Kylie Peach palette. I just think this packaging is so cute. Like it's very cheap. The packaging is like, you can absolutely tell it's like made in China, cheapy, like just cardboard. Um, but it's cute like even the sticker isn't even put on straight but like whatever it's a cute it's a cute design I like it a lot and look at these colors and then it comes with a brush that says Kylie on it it's rose gold I love it I really 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 tried to not fall in love with Kylie Cosmetics because I'm not a big fan of Kylie herself but I love it I mean I know she's not the goddamn product developer like she's just a girl that likes makeup but I really love her products. I was just watching Charles Gross, who I'm obsessed with and want to be his best friend. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, when you watch somebody or like listen to somebody speak for a while and then you like start to like, not, not copy them, but like, because you like have their voice in your head, <laughs> you start to like maybe speak like them a little bit. I don't know, that's weird. Um, so if I kind of sound a little bit bougier than normal, it's because I've been watching too much Charles Gross, um, who I recommend. I will link his channel in the, in the description box because you guys should all watch him for a little bougie outlet. It is the best. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with this shade over here, which is called Sorbet. That's exactly what it looks like. Good naming, guys. Yeah, on a big fluffy brush, and we're gonna use this as our transition color. Oh, this is nice. I haven't tried this, these formulas yet. Like I swatched them, but I haven't tried them on. Oh wow, I like this formula a lot. It blends really, really nicely. I am impressed. Nicely pigmented, not too much, not too little. And for like a chalky matte, like a pastel kind of shade, that's a good eyeshadow because pastels are really hard to do. Maybe just to build up the color in the crease, I know. I don't know, cause I'm gonna do this blue, but I don't know if I wanna do this also in the crease. I, yeah, I'm gonna try a little bit of it on this Morphe brush that I love so much. This is the E13. Okay, I'm just gonna keep this right up here. Oh, this is a gorgeous shade. Oh my God, you guys. I am so impressed right now. God damn it, Kylie, why? Oh my God, these eyeshadows are so bomb. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Kylie brush I'm gonna go into this blue shade that I've just been staring at for, ugh, ever since I got this palette, I've been staring at it so hard. And we're gonna put this right in 
the crease. Matte blues are really, really, really hard to develop. So this is a true test. And I want it to be like super intense, like in your face, fucking blue. There is a lot of kick up though. Like that blue is everywhere on here, but the eyeshadow is working. So that's really all that matters to be honest. You know what I hate when I when I watch reviews of eyeshadows and, those, and they, they're like, oh my god, there's so much kick up. You're going to waste so much product. Like, who the hell ever uses up a whole pan of eyeshadow? That never happens. Like, you're not going to miss these little fucking crumbs of eyeshadow. Get over yourself. Like, that is something to note because, like, it's messy and stuff. But, like, for you to say that it's wasting product is so, I feel like, cheap. Like, if you're buying a fucking palette, like, you're really going to miss... Half of a 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 gram of a fucking eyeshadow. It's crazy. Okay, now that I've ranted, I'm PMSing. I like this eyeshadow a lot, but I'm not doing a very good job of blending it because it's a very harsh color. This, this blue is a little patchy. I have to say that, but these blues are super, super duper hard to develop, like I said. Um, so it's good for what it is, but it's not perfect. But to be honest, I don't think anybody in the history of science will ever create a perfect cobalt blue matte eyeshadow. It's just really, really hard. Well, I'm gonna take my eyeshadow primer, which is this uh, Jordana eyeshadow pencil. I don't know, I just found it in the drawer. Um, I'm gonna put this over here because I want to clean up the lid where all that blue is so we can put our lid shade, but I don't want it all over the lid. I kind of want to keep the blue on the outer corner. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the lid right over here. You can also do this with concealer, but I feel like whenever I use concealer, it just like, there's too much of it. I don't know, like I can't control it as well. So I'm just gonna do it this way, no big deal. You can choose whichever way you'd like to. So I was going back and forth with what, with what color I wanted to do on the lid. It was between these two. I think I'm gonna go with the purple though because I think it's gonna complement the blue very well. So I'm gonna take this Sigma E57 brush, go into this shade. I'm not even telling you guys the names. This is North Star, oh, like Northy. And we're gonna put this on the lid. I think purple is North Super color. That's probably why she named that. Could be wrong, don't know. Now, I'm gonna put that right on the lid, right where we put that um, concealer, primer, or whatever, to clean it up. It really does look good with the blue. I haven't played with like super duper bright colors in a while, so this is fun. That's really what caught my eye with this palette was the like pops of bright colors. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the blue and kind of blend it between um, where the purple ends. And also like intensify it on the outer corner. Ah, oh, I'm so obsessed, you guys. This is such a cool look. I'm very, 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 very happy. You guys, I'm living for this shit right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner. I'm gonna just tight line my eyes first, just to fill in the gaps between my lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner and give myself a wing. Oh, this wing kind of got out of hand, <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. Oh shit. I like wanted it to be dramatic and <laughs> I went a little overboard. Okay, let's do some lashitos. Okay, I'm gonna do these number 523 cream lashes and coat my lashes with some Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I completely agree with saying that you waste half your life waiting for eyelash glue to dry because I feel like it's actually true. I've wasted so much, so many precious moments of my life waiting for this goddamn eyelash glue to dry. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go and do my face. I'm actually doing a review on a foundation. So I will link that down below when it's available. I'm not actually sure. Actually, I think this video is going, yeah. So yeah, I will link that down below for you guys to check out, but I will be back to do the rest of my face and the rest of my eyes afterward. Okay, you guys, my foundation is on, and now I will show you what I'm gonna do for my cheeks, and then we'll finish up on the eyes. I'm gonna go in with the uh, MAC. Uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Lately I've been using like duo fiber brushes to bronze my face and I really like it. It gives you like a more natural bronze. It's just like very diffused and pretty. So I'm liking it. And then just to sharpen up the contour lines like on my cheekbones, I'm going to take this Zoeva Luxe Face Paint Brush with the same bronzer and just kind of define the cheekbones. So much better. Look at the difference between it between the two sides of my face. Like this one, a lot more structure. Also gonna contour my nose. I've been doing that lately. 
I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm trying it out. Like, I don't really need to contour my nose. Because my nose isn't like, like, I don't really want to make it smaller. But I just like the look of like a structured face. Like, that is crazy. But once you blend it out. Okay, that's a little crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Does it look crazy? Uh, but I don't know. I feel like it makes my face look more finished. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with Becca's Damselfly. I love this blush and I like forget that I have it so I don't really use it much. But it's a good one, especially with like these peachy tones in the crease. And then because we have purple on the lid, I wanted something like purpley for my highlight. So I'm going to mix Tourmaline with Summer because this one is a little bit, this is the Anastasia Sun Kiss Sun Dipped Glow Kit by the way. This is purpley but it's a little too dark for my skin tone at the moment. So I'm going to mix it with summer to lighten it. Hope that works anyway. Yes, exactly. You're a genius, Ashley. You are a genius. Oh, these, this formula on these is like unreal. I love this thing. Do you see that? Oh, I'm also gonna use that sun dipped color to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone. Because in the Kylie palette, there isn't really anything to highlight with. Okay, I'm going to start off by taking this NYX Full Throttle Shadow Pencil in the shade, what is the shade? Uh, electric Surface, and this is really cool electric blue color. Um, I didn't have an eyeliner that looked like the blue in this palette, so I'm going to just use this as a base. And then work it out with some other colors. So now that that is on the waterline, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Sorbet and this Real Techniques Pencil Brush. We're gonna buff this all over the lower lash line. And you can bring it as low as you would like. This is a lighter color, so I feel like you can bring it super low and it won't look weird. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is peachy. Put that right down there. Hey babe. What's up? Now I'm gonna take this flat finer brush with this blue shade. What was the blue shade even called? Royal. I'm gonna put that right on the waterline where we put the eyeshadow pencil. Are you doing one of those videos where like you like do the voiceover and like you can hear people talking in the background? Huh? Are you doing like one of those videos like? No, you're... I'm like talking in the video. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did you think I was talking to you? Yeah. No, I'm saying oh. you know how like sometimes like some of the videos you watch like people be talking in the background while they're still doing the tutorial and shit. Oh yeah, it's kind of like, like that. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you get my voice in there, like once at some part. Like I don't care what we talking about, but yeah. you want okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also pressing it into the lower lashes, like bringing it down a little bit, just to kind of mimic the top of the eye. I just put some mascara on my lower lashes, and now we're just gonna finish up the lips. We're gonna do one of my favorite lip combos ever. I'm doing your favorite lip combo ever. Uh -huh. Do yeah. Sure. So we're going to start off with Vintage Suede Matte Lip Liner from NYX. Babe, you think if we just go to the Foot Locker like a few blocks down, they'll be able to take off the thing? I do. Okay. Because like we're going to go into the city just to like get a tag taken off. That's like kind of stupid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's seats in the back. It's just hopefully they have that same magnet. Yeah, that's like really the only, that yeah, would probably. be the only problem. Problem. If they don't have it, then we'll just get on the train. Do you need hot Cheetos? No, I thought you wanted them. Oh, I bought chips, so... Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go on top of that with Coco K from Kylie Cosmetics. That's Coco, right? Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I finally went and did my hair, put on some hoop earrings, because why wouldn't I? I feel very Chloe right now. I do have Coco K on my lips, though, so that's cool. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that if you did, that you give this video a big thumbs up, and... Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already so that you can see all my new videos, be the first to know. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.